Gate Day, baby. We're here at the at and Stadium again, where we was the other day with the cheerleaders. But we're not on the pitch today. These boys are on the pitch. Got a jersey. Who you got? Oh, I've got. I've got quarterback. A rookie quarterback, and I've got Des Bryant, who's a wide receiver. He's a bit like the Beckham, he's the big boy. I was going to say player, but things have changed down there. You up there? Yes. It's game day, it's win or go home, it's playoff season, it's the best time of year if you're an NFL fan. Just get some! Come on! Packers by seven. Ooh. No! Oh, no. <laughs> Cowboys by seven. Cowboys boys seven. Like, I'm all nervous. <laughs> For me, Cowboys gonna win by by ten. So I've enjoyed everything that we've done here in Dallas, Texas, USA, but I've not been this pumped in a while. I'm really, really excited. We're now going into a parking lot just outside the ground for a little bit of tailgating. I've heard of tailgating. Can't say I've ever I've ever taken part, but that's about to all change. Damn. We're all having a cookout out here. Uh. Yeah. It's in the cheese heads. Apparently it's because uh, where Green Bay are from, it's a big uh, cheese production area. So. Cheese heads. I'm not sure I'd want to be called that. Yeah. The biggest difference I noticed between soccer and American football is the way both sets of fans intertwined. I couldn't exactly imagine Arsenal fans and Tottenham fans dancing together like this outside the Emirates on a Saturday. Uh. Yeah. Okay, so Will has found the perfect way to acquire free alcohol. He's going to challenge the Green Bay fans to a game of beer pump. Go on, Will. The Cowboys. As a West Ham season ticket holder, I couldn't believe the sense of community between both sets of fans before such a huge match. I couldn't decide whether I liked it. I mean, there's something typically British about screaming offensive songs at another human being just for supporting a different football team. And I kind of like that. Who's gonna win today? Oh my gosh, pack. No question about it. Good luck. Go pack go. So we lost the beer pong, but we did accumulate a free uh, a free hot dog. So you win some, you lose some. Uh, swings and roundabouts. And now we are heading into the stadium to watch the game. It's time. Right, Nervous. Cowboys, what? Just like that, as the American National Anthem began to bellow out across the AT&T Stadium, we knew it was about to get real. Everything myself and Will had experienced on our journey through Dallas, Texas, had led up to this one moment. It was time.
with us by far the better team. In the second half of the start, Green Bay and Toledo were scored a touchdown. 28 points. It's a long way to come back home. And then in the blink of an eye, or a touchdown some would say, this is the moment we fell in love with American football. A last gasp throw from Green Bay's Aaron Rodgers sets up the Packers with a field kick with three seconds left on the clock. We may have fallen in love with America's beautiful game, but I guess that's the thing when falling in love. You can always have your heart broken. I can't believe how much I cared for that result. Thursday, couldn't care less. <laughs> and now, <laughs> and now it's my second favourite sport. Everything that we've done led up to this moment, and it's a shame they didn't win. But we well, next year. Hopefully, we we'll see you again next year. To Cowboys, what a journey without eh? So the Cowboys are out for another year and it's back to England for myself and Will. And although admittedly we may not be leaving the US as winners, we've met some incredible people along the way and fell in love with an incredible game that shares many similarities to the one we know and love back at home. I just want to say a huge thank you to the NFL for inviting us over and I'll leave this film on a quote from the late great Bill Shankly. Some people think football is a matter of life and death. I assure you it's not. It's much more serious than that. See you next time, Sporf.